Hey, value traders, it looks like the US dollar is our strongest currency. Which one is the weakest? Value trades. I'm Brad Alexander, and in this week's Market Blast Technicals, let's take a look at CAD yen, Brent crude, gold, Kiwi dollar, pound dollar, and euro dollar. Yes, we see strength in all the US dollar pairs, but we need to find some technical indicators to confirm our next move. Keep in mind that we are in the last week of August, and this is typically a very slow time for the markets. On Euro Dollar, we will wait for price action to reach the upper trend line and look for confirmation of another downturn from a technical indicator like the Stochastic Oscillator. On the daily chart, we see bearish indications from price action, the Stochastic Oscillator and MACD, and support below at 1076 and 1066. On Pound Dollar, we spotted this ascending triangle last week and price action broke out to the downside. Right now, price is at a key level and we need to see a break above or a bounce below to determine its next direction. There are many weak currencies right now, but the New Zealand dollar seems to be the weakest, although not by much. However, if we move out to the daily chart on a Kiwi dollar, we can see lower lows and a huge fall in price action to 0.55 almost a year ago. But wait for confirmation of a break before going short. The daily chart on gold shows us some strength in XAUUSD in the last week, despite the strong US dollar. If you are considering a short trade in gold, wait for price action to bounce off this upper trend line and the stochastic oscillator to turn down from overbought. As usual, watch the fundamental news events. Yesterday we pointed out the downtrend in crude oil, and we see it continuing today in this consolidation pattern on Brent crude. Again, the markets are a bit slow right now, so before selling, wait for some technical indicator like the signal line passing out of the histogram on MACD. We are still waiting to see what will happen to yen pairs, and we see for example CAD yen consolidating around this key level at 108. Here again, watch for news from the Bank of Japan. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Value Trade Signals, and the link will be in this video's description below. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and register on the Value Trades website to get notifications on new content as it happens. That's all for now. Happy trading with Value Trades, and we will see you next time. CFDs and FX are leveraged products, and your capital may be at risk.